Hokey dokey. Let's go ahead and do two or three examples for this problem. In this problem, they give us the function h of x, and they ask us to find h prime of 2. So the process will go as follows. We will find the first derivative of that function, then we will plug in 2. So in order to find the derivative of this function, it might help to rewrite it first. So I would recommend rewriting it so it's something of the form negative 2. We can keep that negative, we keep that 2, but bringing the x to the numerator. So rewriting it as x to some a value if originally it's x to the fourth in the denominator. So what would that look like? It would be negative 2 x to the negative 4. So that's the purpose of negative exponents. If it's positive 4 on the bottom, then uh, bringing it out of the bottom or bringing it out of the denominator will make it x to the negative 4. So this is just the rewritten function. Now, if we find the derivative, h prime of x, using our power rule, we'll bring out this negative 4, multiply it by the negative 2 to get a positive 8. We leave the x, and then we subtract 1 from the exponent. Negative 4 minus 1 will give us a negative 5. Keep in mind, subtracting 1 takes us further into the negative. So rather than negative 3, it becomes negative 5. So then we're finding f, or sorry, uh, h prime of 2. So we plug in 2, and we have this. And I'll talk through how to work it out by hand, but let's start with working it out with Desmos. So a2 to the negative 5. All right, so we get 0.25 as our answer. And so that looks like option A. So break out the eraser to see that A is our answer. So just for fun, had we worked this out by hand, we would have had 8. And then if we rewrote this with no negative exponents, we'd have 1 over 2 to the positive 5. 2 to the 5th is 32. Multiplying 8 times 1 over 32 gives us 8 over 32, which reduces to 1 fourth or 0.25. So let's keep rolling. Let's do another example or two. So with this one, it's already in the form that we can start finding the derivative because there's no roots and there's no x terms in the denominator to bring up with negative exponents. So we would just simply bring out the 2 thirds and multiply it by 3. So 3 times 2 thirds, the way I see it, 3 is 3 over 1. And so we have a 3 on top, 3 on the bottom. They cancel, and we're really just left with 2 over 1, which is just 2. We leave the x, and then we subtract the exponent by 1. So our trick is doing top minus bottom, so 2 minus 3, negative 1, and we leave that over the original denominator. So 2x to the negative 1 third is our derivative. Now plugging in 2, we have 2 times 2 to the negative 1 third. So keep in mind, we want to do 2 raised to the negative 1 third first, then multiply by 2. So here we should be able to type it all in. And that will give us 1.59 or 1.6. Actually, they rounded. They just cut it off at the thousands place. So 1.587 is our answer. So a little less of a one that we could work out by hand here. So I would definitely recommend using a calculator. So we break out the eraser to see that A is our answer. Let's do one more here. In this one, we have an x term in the denominator. So before we find a derivative, let's rewrite it. We can keep the 2, but now the x term becomes x to the negative 8 thirds, since it was positive 8 thirds in the denominator. Now we can take its derivative by bringing out negative 8 thirds, multiplying by 2. Basically, 2 times negative 8 on top would give us negative 16, and on the bottom, we'd be left with the 3. 
we leave the x and we subtract one from negative 8 thirds. So negative 8 minus 3, top minus bottom, would give us negative 11, and then we keep that over 3. Again, we are plugging in 2. So we have negative 16 thirds times 2 to the negative 11 thirds. Quite an ugly number. Negative 16 thirds times 2 to the negative 11 thirds, I believe. So we get negative 0.199 or negative 0.42. Zero. Hope. Okay. Break out the eraser to see that A is our answer. If you have any questions on these or you get a weird one that trips you up, feel free to let me know what it is and I'd be happy to help you out.